and things are looking pretty good. Uh, the winds this morning, not a big factor, at least not here in the central part of the valley. As we head toward midday, and certainly as we slide into the afternoon, steady winds around 10, 15 miles per hour, but that's when the gust, I think midday onward, uh, will approach 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. So turning kind of breezy later today. Uh, temperatures this morning, not bad, 60s and 70s uh, for the first part of the day, and then warming up considerably. Our average high uh, for the tail end of October uh, drops all the way down to the upper 70s. So over the course of a couple of average decades worth the weather you'd expect it to be in late October in the upper 70s, we will look for upper 80s to near 90 degrees out there this afternoon. Specifically, I think we'll go 80 for Summerlin, but 88 in Centennial Hills up toward Nellis Air Force Base where the breezes have been uh, a little on the strong side early this morning. Later this afternoon, you're up to 89 degrees. Mountain's Edge also 89 degrees looking for temperatures at least around 88 in Anthem, 89 Green Valley, maybe even up to 91 uh, for parts of the Southern Highlands. Also looking for about 90 degrees out toward Lake Mead and parts of Henderson. And uh, we've got a big warm ridge of high pressure across the western United States. So that means hardly a cloud in the sky over the next couple of days. Our air quality, uh, it is only moderate, so it's not the best today or tomorrow, and that's because we've got these mornings where the cool air sort of collects in the valley and it's sort of a stagnant weather pattern. Even though we'll have some breezes later today, it's not gonna clean our air quality up too much. We are looking at those breezes though at times today, tonight, and tomorrow. It's gonna keep us on the warm side. 90 today, 88 tomorrow. That's more than 10 degrees warmer than average. And then we'll drop down to the mid 80s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday through next weekend. Yes, I mean, all of those numbers still considerably warmer than usual for late October, but the overnight lows dropping into the 50s by the middle of this week. Yeah, but